Okay, ready for the evening rapid. We've done bullet this morning. We've done blitz in the afternoon and a little bit of rapid now. So as we know, we're in the 1200 region. We were practicing the 1100s and somehow got into the 1200s. And we're looking at basically the traits of the 1200s. And as we know, they can be fairly strong and looking at the categories for what we believe are the kind of behaviors that 1200s dictate and show we should be able to then at least ascertain well okay we're playing a, a real 1200 or they're actually playing out of the socks a little bit or they're flying through the ranks and you know they're just beating everybody so we can feel a little bit comfortable about the game and try and enjoy it a little bit so we know what to expect as I've mentioned before, if you're facing a black belt and you're a white belt, then you know you're going to be a little bit kind of wary, obviously, because you know they've got all the experience, they've got the knowledge, etc., etc. It's not to say you can't beat a black belt. It's just saying that in the grand scheme of things, you would kind of think that you wouldn't really stand much of a chance, and you probably just sit and watch and learn from them. So in this. This lessons here, the 1200s, you're probably looking at them being like a, maybe a yellow belt, not even a yellow belt. Well, yeah, a yellow belt, depending on how you do your gradings, obviously. And so maybe like the second belt up or something like that. So you wouldn't really expect them to be um, playing like a purple belt or a blue belt, maybe two steps ahead of them, that type of thing. But we shall see how we get on. I'm going to jump in, 10 minute game. And we're playing at 1190, so they're close to 1200. Some people will class that as 1200. You know, some players have classed an 1800 as a 1900, but to me, it don't make any sense. It's not a 1900, it's an 1800. But hey, who am I to argue? So we're going to develop and attack the pawn. And going to push onto the pawn here. So... They're at the top end of the 1100, so obviously they've got the experience of starting to maybe potentially work their pieces together. And from that point on, maybe looking at not blundering so much. They might try and take a little bit more care about not blundering, trying to get those good positions. But one of the characteristics that they can't really change really is they do like to attack and there's usually no defense so if they start doing defense work i think we may be finding a reversal of the thinking which might slow down their development in the game if they do that okay so i'm going to castle so i'm waiting for them to come out and attack if they're going to sit and wait i'm hoping they're losing tempo in terms of doing that it looks very tame does this player it's kind of falling in line with what I've just said there in that um, if they're going to sit back and try and not attack, hopefully then we might stand a good chance because that's their natural type of trait. So got my pieces out, minor pieces, got the queen out. So they're just playing nice and steady. They're just waiting to see if they can see some gaps. But this movement that they're doing here is not representative of the 1100s really they like to attack and get pieces off the board which they're starting to do which is good for us now we can just bring the rook here facing the queen i know nothing's happening at the minute but we can move the queen and just put a check on the king just to give them something to think about as you can see they're starting attacking now which is the natural trait for them but now they're taking the time trying to find good position because they're a higher 1100 they're getting into the realms of being a 1200 whereby they really like to defend and attack and but they get confused with all of that sort of stuff i'm getting really excited because this one's falling quite nicely into that realm so we could go with the knight attacking but always avoid it you go here like this, the knight can take, and then the bishop is actually on the bishop. And then if the bishop takes, then the knight takes back. So they win a piece. So you have to avoid that by all means. So I'm going to attack. 
the knight and then bring the knight and attack the bishop and we're attacking this pawn twice as well as the bishop so trying to build up some type of attack with hopefully some sort of solid defense yeah that's a good choice because at the end of the day the bishop is protected anyway this pawn now is being attacked by our rook maybe we can get the queen in here and put a two on one he's not bothered about that and that's a good move actually because it does prevent the queen from coming here and attacking the pawn so this is probably a next level 1100 really in those in those terms really um they are targeting this pawn our rook is defending so it's kind of holding our rook to ransom here but on this pawn so we could come and attack but then obviously the rook is just going to come and defend simply if there was a way of coming here then we'd be attacking this pawn could come here and we're attacking this pawn as well as this pawn and see how that works out so they do defend so we can come and let's see if we can own the file and attack the queen with the rooks which is the important thing for the rooks owning the open files it looks like we've got one there they may then decide well we've done a good job so far we may as well just get equal with the rooks but we'll be looking to own the file So it's the smallest of details so they're not interested now so we're going to just bring this other rook simple basic chess all right so we could be looking to try and farm the rooks on the back i don't think they will allow us that i think they will just uh, come and take and um, go for the exchanges so simple movement here looking to potentially come here or go here as the king may come and attack it so the king's gone there stopping that movement so they're not a stupid player actually these are really quite knowledgeable you know they're stopping the rook from coming here but we are going to continue coming across they're probably going to bring the king closer in rather than attacking the rook straight away they may just come central yeah exact move this player is a little bit knowledgeable so we're going to continue with this only problem they have is that this pawn can be taken but they may be looking to just get the back rank mate on us so we might will be down a tempo i don't think we'll be able to come take this pawn as they will come and challenge as our king has got no air so we're gonna have to spend a moment moving the rook moving the king when it comes if we take rook takes move the king it's not doing that so it does give us a bit of tempo to actually take the pawn is there any trappages don't think there is i think in my head i'm thinking they should have gone here to win that tempo to go for the back rank but i might be missing something i think we do have time to take the pawn and come back here if the rook comes here which would make sense because i think they're just going to do that unless i'm totally missing something which i can so it's the smallest of details in this particular game depending on how it, the outcome goes we've explained what we've done up to this point so he's looking for a trade now we are plus one in the end game so you would think that well pretty simple to just go and take it off the board and we could go for it looks like a mate to me we go here oh it's not it's not forgive me <laughs> it's not a queen yeah so he can go here yeah and he can dance backwards and forwards can't he so it would be a draw or we can take this pawn off but if we take that pawn he takes our rook We take his rook, so we're up two pawns. That might be a benefit, might it? Being up two pawns in the end game, although these are split, it's just that they can manage this area. I think we should go with that, you know. Is there anything better? I don't see any magic anywhere. We can always put a check on the king again. 
and then he goes back and then we take the pawn maybe that's maybe that's cleaner but the check on the king king moves don't think he, maybe he comes there or he goes there whichever then we take the pawn I think that might be a bit better let's go with that go for a bit of a cleaner one although the other one would have worked either way I think we can always look at it afterwards so it's not a definite win-win we've got an extra pawn we're trying to get another pawn but we've always got to remember he's going to win tempo by coming here with his rook because we've got no space for our king so do we just block it off just keep dancing on the back because we're causing a bit of disruption at the minute we've grabbed one pawn hopefully grabbing another pawn they come here we come back with the rook maybe maybe come with this rook so that it's away from their king but they did they've got all this space oh mind you he's gone that way so we can take this pawn so he's blocking his rook from attacking here at the minute what i was thinking was they're probably doubling up oh it's taken it's taken so we're protecting this pawn so can we come and attack this one he can always come here can't he we go here his rook comes down we've got space to come here all right do we move the king now i think i'm going to attack another pawn We've talked this through, we can bring it here. We're expecting this. Not doing that just yet, it's wanting our rook to get into the mix, I suppose, and then here. No, I always bring the king down to close us down. I think we need to move the rook or move the king. I think we need to move the king now. It's time to move the king, I think. Oh, he's attacking the pawn. Let's defend. Didn't really want his king getting here, but I think we do have the rook being able to come here to see it off. Yeah, so he's trying to close us down. And he's coming for this pawn. Yeah, it's a very aggressive king. He's actually going to get those pawns, you know. Could come here with the rook protecting, because I've got protection from this pawn. Is there no mate? No, nope. just bring the rook here for now. At least the king's blocking here, but I think he's probably looking to get his king here. And then he does have the option of bringing that rook here. But uh, for now, I think if we hit this pawn, no, maybe not. Then it's going to come and attack our rook. Our rook can come up. It's going to go there. So he's got the pawn. Magical king. Look at that. Right, so, shall we make a move? Let's make a move. Right, so they're going to feel good about that. I don't think we're going to come here and attack it because he just comes and gets the pawn. Our rook is stuck in the center of the board. I think it's time for our king to get into action with our pawn majority on this side. Okay, we need to move fast now because they're probably banking on us being really slow. The idea is to potentially just hit this pawn and get a passer rather than taking. And push this. It's going to be coming across here at some point. Let's move the king across. Two minutes 56. So I'm in the blitzy, blitzy, blitz. Coming for the rook or something? No, maybe not. Let's just attack take rook puts a check coming for this pawn is very busy isn't he let's push this up and hide here when the rook puts a check on and then if he puts the check on he's gonna not squeezing down just yet if the king comes here then he's got a check on we can just bring the rook down but he can take a pawn we don't really want that do we shall we just take then he takes the pawn here. 
No, it's putting a check on. Let's move. What else is he thinking of doing? Can we push this and keep pushing. Rook can't stop it apart from going there. Oh no! Oh, I thought it was a checkmate then. I thought he dropped here and then I can't move. <laughs> uh, let's hit the rook. And he's hitting the pawn, but if he takes the pawn, then we just get a promotion. What's the check? The check. Gonna put more checks on me, isn't he? We need to get out of this somehow, dude. I'll just keep pushing a pawn. Push this pawn. They'll be winning on time before we know it. Let's move here. Pretty smooth. Yeah. Um, as for a rematch, uh, not today, I'm afraid. I'm going to look at the analysis on that one, and that might be the game for today. And definitely at this point here, I'm wanting to look to see if we've been okay. Oh, and that's where it... And you know, this is why I like doing these... From 6.8, it dropped down to 2.9 to 3, whichever game. Right, so it was only the fact of us pushing that pawn that was the weakness. Yeah, so us pushing there was the weakness. They actually took advantage. They did the strongest move. We moved to the side. And we ended in that position that we were just looking at. Yeah, so they did the best move, which was good. But we survived it. There was no real checkmate type things. Although you do start. I, I thought there was a checkmate here. I think somewhere along the lines. Around here. We start pushing. Trying to get this king out of this situation. And from experience. Just try and get the king out of the way. And just keep moving it over. Pawn's blocking now. There's nothing that can happen. Lovely game. Yeah. Good 1100 play that. Excellent. Okay, going in on a net. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Crash. I didn't even feel like I'd press the button. Um, okay, we're going in on the 1200s, uh, just practicing, trying to understand, well, not trying to, understanding the traits of the 1200 and making sure that we're aligned with the behaviors and characteristics characteristics that we've done in our research and it is my go so this is a 1200 and they're 
two points higher than us in if you're looking at rating stuff so they're going for defense nanny already and this is what we've said about the 1200s they now want to be defensive they are attacking they like attacking but they also now understand the benefits of defending working the pieces together and the they know a bit about tran transitioning through to the from the opening through to the mid through to the end um, but they get really confused sometimes and they end up reversing coming from end game to mid game back to the opening kind of psychology and the end game if you can take them to the end game then you may be able to stretch them a bit and maybe gain some advantages if you can get them to the end game always remember their backbone really is quick and dirty tactics so don't forget that and that's why they can shock and surprise players look at these defensible type maneuvers yep not not overextending doing a little bit similar to what the 1190 did in the last game where they you know they sat back and kind of waited type thing so this is really kind of mirroring that sort of um aspect it's tempting to jump the knight in here but i think what we'll do is just develop a few more pieces if we can if they give us that time So all those tiny little um, things we talked about there for the traits, if we can bring them in now knowing that they are trying to be defensive, now they're coming out attacking with the knight early already. Couldn't resist it, they've not. Yep, it's like a muddled up type of situation in, in their heads. It's... Um, I, I understand how to keep things safe, but I also know how to attack. I know how to transition, but it all gets kind of muddled up in their head. I'm not saying it's not going to work, but this is how, for me, I'm trying to get that better feeling of being able to play against them. Going to castle in the basics. So this knight's danced and danced and danced. Obviously, they'll be looking to protect their king, getting the bishop here. So they're looking for arty position play, yeah, which probably isn't necessary really in the early part of the game. I'm actually going to just push the pawn into the center just to hit the head of the snake. This may rattle their position and hopefully start making them think about defense rather than continuing the attack. I'm going to take the pawn off the board just to unsettle this stalwart center defense that they've got going on here. So they've got the pawn that can defend if we do take our knight can jump into this square here it's not going to stay there for long but it's a it's a move anything else that we want to do we can bring the bishop here put in a check on the king just again to rattle the position because they, they don't want to take pieces off the board they're thinking safety 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 and they're waiting for a moment for a tactical attack I'm a positional player and I'm saying I want to rattle your cage. I'm going to take pieces off the board to try and make you feel uncomfortable and so we can prepare for the end game. That's my thought process. I'm going to hit the queen with a smaller piece, which is the knight. Again, giving them something to think about. They may come here now thinking, I'm getting your pawn. Exact move. Exact move. Yep. So. They're attacking, but they're not really defending at the minute. The king's not got castled. Is there anything else that we can do in the meantime to give them something else to worry about? I'm actually going to... Whoa, I'm not actually, but I could. Because if they do what I think they may do, which is take the knight with the knight, we'll take the queen for free. Yep, so we come here. But if, if they take, then the knight can take and we're happy as Larry. Then they may continue attacking the rook type thing. It doesn't look like it's got much weight there. So I'm going to attack the queen. I've seen it done. Where they've forgotten because the more to set on taking the knight. Queen's got no protection. Maybe not in this game now because they've gone a little bit slow. But that was the idea. And they have them. That's okay then. That's fine. So we bring the knight up. And we did say that potentially coming here, forgetting that the knight is here, we can take. 
Nope, so it's stopping our knights. So like we said, playing defense, they understand about defending, you know, the areas, but it negates the actual attacking process that they put, could potentially put in place. So we're going to attack the bishop now, trying to rattle them even more. He can move the bishop out of the way, but it will get taken. So we can take, the knight will take, obviously. And they can go and castle. I think that's all done now, isn't it? So we'll probably want to move this knight out of the way. But I think before we do that, we're going to bring the knight rook here. Only problem I've got with that is that the knight can sit here. So we'd have to move our knight. So maybe we move our knight first. The rook is probably going to attack our knight. We do have a safe space to come back to here. And then we can challenge the rook. I think we're going to do that move first. Just forward planning, transferring into the, this is the end game now, but we're again trying to fight for owning the file. And I think they'll know a bit about owning the file. They'll, they will come and attack the knight, but we can move the knight, whether they take the rook or not. Questionable because the knight's protecting that area as well. So they've not done that just yet, so we can look to double the rooks, can't we? Just be mindful of where the knights can come. Let's see if we can try and double the rooks on this file and continue doing that. They can do the same. Nice looking juicy here, but we'll see. Okay, right. In this situation, we take. They take back with their knight. We attack their rook. Their rook takes, we take. Don't think the knight wants to be there, really. Don't overthink that bit. Let's just take that one. Take him with the pawn. All that thinking is taken with the pawn. So I'm actually going to just drop my knight in here and look for the exchange, seeing as they're not looking to double. And again, seeing if the ownership of the file is the key thing. So he's not interested in that. So we will take the rook off the board. Not want to mess about. Takes with the knight. Okay, so we can move our knight. Could attack their rook. There's nothing else it's attacking, which is a shame. But it's not gotten, it can't come back anywhere. You know, so he can come and attack it, but then it's not got anywhere else to go. It can go here, I suppose, and it will escape. Back the rook, or back the pawn. Nope, because the knight is protecting. I'm plumping for this. Rook attacks, we come here. Knight moves, maybe. Just don't want to get it trapped. And we're coming here. And we're coming here. So we're coming away from their king, really, aren't we? Do we want to just do this? But then he just pops and hits us. And then we are trapped. Well, we're not trapped. We can jump back again. Don't actually have to hit us with that pawn, though, can he? He could hit us with this pawn. Then we're not. We're trapped then, we can't go anywhere. But we're definitely not going in that way. I think that's the only spot we've got really, apart from this one. Let's attack. Good to talk. Right, we're on we're in blitzy blitzy mode now. So they've come through like we thought they would do. It doesn't look different at all. No, let's just go here. Don't need to overthink that. Oh, it does have this spot here. It can come this way. 
Yeah, but it keeps jumping in front of the rock, don't it? Hmm. So it's even Stevens, materially. On the plus side, you'd say, well, you've got they've got double pawns here, and you're owning an open file with the rook. But that doesn't mean anything until I can get my pieces working together and gelling, because that could be a strength having these two pawns. Just keeps pushing down on here. We take takes still double, but they're highly elevated up the board. My king doesn't have any space. No breathing. It's not. It's a bit choked up. So there's quite a bit of negatives going on. Their knight's protecting their pawn. I'm assuming the knight wants to move because... It, ah, he's looking to trap it. Right, he's looking to trap it. We're probably going to be safe for coming this way and then coming here. If we come here... Not trapping it really, really, but... This gives them something to think about. But he does drop. And we come here. Then his knight moves. Hmm. We have to move the knight. We need to move faster. Oh, let's move. Just move. We're on blitz. Not a long play. They might start panicking and moving the knight, but I don't think they will. They'll hit the hit the knight, and we're just gonna have to come here. And then the pawn's gonna hit the knight, and then we're gonna be in front of our damn rook. Yeah, I didn't really want that. We could always go back here, but then he attacks us. Because we can come here. We're gonna lose on time. I don't think this is a good one, is it? There, pushes there. Go back again. Okay, let's do that. Or even just attack the rook. Yeah, okay, there, attack the rook. Rook says no. Rook says no. We can move the knight. Okay, let's do it. Just in case. Oh, they have them. We're attacking the pawn. Hit the pawn. Just give them things to think about now because we're we're running out of time. They're being super cool. What's that? It's gonna get my pawn, isn't it? Woohoo! Yeah, he's going to get my pawn. And he's got a passer. That's a bit clever. I need to get my knight here. Is this double pawn going to be in our favour or not? I'm not taking this pawn because this pawn's pushing here. Or he's going to just take ours. And I can't go there. Oh! Boom. Oh no, he's got it passed. He's got it passed. I'm going to have to just block. And move the king. I have to just block and move the king. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Don't know why I'm moving the night. Just moving it just to move a piece. Oh, by this. I'm in here, isn't it? Oh, Shaba. Come in there. I'm gonna have to move the king. Too late. Not gonna go for a draw with a passer like this. That pawn's moving next. Oh, it's a draw, yes. Let's have a look at the analysis on that one. There me. I must I must have messed something up there. Oh, I might not have messed anything up, and it might just be that they just played, you know, nice and safe. Let's have a look at what the computer tells us. Yeah, so the knight's coming through, queen going for the exchange. Knight comes across, bishop takes. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. I said sit in the water. Takes, takes. Bit of an advantage, but not nothing to write home about. Oh, this is better, isn't it? But a bit too dancey, I think, now. Still a bit of an advantage for us. Only one point. It looks like it's fairly even, Stevens, for the majority of the game. Looks like we had slight advantages in the early part of the game. And they've got slight advantage here. And they've got a big advantage there. Probably with the knight going and putting a check on the king or something. No, they're still winning. Look at that. One point. Oh. It was probably some fancy knight manoeuvre that they should have been doing. But I'm comfortable with that. Look at the human eye. Good game. I think we're going for one more and then that is it for today. Uh, do, do, let's go. Oh, 12.54. We're sending out the big guns now. So they're halfway to 1300. So they're basically going to be trying to develop their own style of play now. So they'll have their own ways of doing things and feeling really confident that they've developed the opening stage in the mid and the end game. Uh, the only problem they do have is that because they challenge the status quo, it will be the case that they might do it at the wrong time, at the right mo at the wrong moment. Yeah. So the idea is going to be good, but it just might not be at the right time. So they're halfway to like 1300 so I'm assuming they're going to have that sort of mindset I'm going to attack the bishop baiting the pawn doesn't go for the pawn okay let's just go and attack the rook obviously the queen's defending knight is obviously coming out no not yet right um so we get this rook here knight's coming there move the queen put a check on Knight comes and blocks all the queen exchanges. State of these players nowadays, they don't want to exchange the queens. Okay, so we've established a little mini attack. Let's bring this knight here looking to try and attack the bishop. We're going to bring the knight in quick time and attack the bishop. Doesn't have to, he can move. Got space to move. Queen's not in a good position now for me. Needs to start getting activated on the other side of the board. Interesting movement. So we could take. Just brings his pawn back in line. Just take the bishop. 
brings his queen back into line. <laughs> Let's just take the bishop. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. So we have to be careful we don't we trap don't trap our queen. I'm gonna bring the bishop through here. And they're jumping dead quick into this position. Are they looking for some gold? That looks protected, that looks protected. Only thing that doesn't is this. So I'm going to go here and attack the knight. So we're wanting them to challenge the, the principles and concepts because they're doing their own style. They're practicing their own style. They know the, st they know the stuff. They've got it down pat. Pawn's probably taken because they don't want to this pawn to be taken. We are hitting two pawns with the queen. Now it's about probably bringing one of these rooks here to see if we can. Oh, obviously the rook's going to come here. We're looking to try and hit the queen with the queen or the rook. But that's just going to not happen at this stage in time. So simple chess again. Now they're who's owning the file. That's the key thing. Could bring this rook here. And if he takes, then take with the pawn. If we take, take, he is owning the file. It is an important thing. Or we could bring it right up here. Rook takes, queen takes, rook comes and attacks the queen. He is owning the file. I think I'm going to... I don't even have to do anything, though, do I? I could just leave it like this, but then he gets the opportunity to hit our queen. He hits the queen, we take the rook off the board, then maybe the pawn takes, and then there's no ownership of the file. If the queen takes, he goes there, rook takes, if the queen takes, queen takes, pawn takes, there's no owning of the file. So I think we don't do anything and see whether or not they're going to do something because owning the files is key as we've shown in both of the games that we played. So they, they've gone for relinquishing. And now this option here, this is where we can just bring the rook here, I think. And if he does take, then the queen can take and we're owning the file. I'm going to bring the rook here rather than taking. They'll challenge the status quo and they'll go, well, I'm going to take, I'm going to take, right? So we're happy-ish in this area. He's got double pawns here. He's going to be looking for some sort of disruption, destruction, sorry. I'm going to put the check on the king just to let him know that we're here and take this pawn off the board. That gives him the pot, that, that gives him the file. We have to be mindful of that. So greedy munching queen does give him the file. And then we can't then really defend. We will be on the back foot because they'll be coming down, putting checks on us. So do we take the pawn? No, we don't. Let's just keep this file for a brief moment. Could offer a draw. You think he'll take a draw? It's 20 points higher, he might sniff at it saying, no, I'm trying to get to 1300. Oh no, what's going on here? He's saying no. So we take, and he's got a center pawn. That's probably beating our pawns, isn't it? Because then, he's going to get a passer in the center, and we're going to get zugzwanged. If we don't take, and we just push a pawn up, he takes. Which one do we take with? Probably this one because this is doubled but his king's going to be fast enough and come over and gobble us all up then that gives him a pawn majority on this side so maybe we take with this one which can be challenged by dropping there but then he's got double pawns here so that's better isn't it so I think we're going to just do a simple pot oh my days Why would he go back there? If he thought I was taking this pawn, he would have just been coming down here with a checkmate, wouldn't he? 
Oh, that's so silly. Okay, that's the trait of the 1200. That's the session over and done with for the rapid. We've done the bullet this morning, done the blitz this afternoon, and we've done the rapid. A really good session of rapid um, this evening. Bye for now.